everybody, welcome back. We are gonna start drawing muscles on our pictures, all right? So we've been doing figure drawing, we started with gesture drawing, uh, where we got the form of the person, their, their gesture, their attitude, whatever pose they're in, then we added shape to it, started thinking about it three-dimensionally, and now we're gonna add another layer, we're gonna add muscles, all right? So we're gonna take a look at some anatomy, uh, basic, basic drawing anatomy, and uh, look at the uh, figure from different angles, and then we'll practice it and go from there, all right? Okay, so here is our model from the front. So um, we're gonna start as we have been with our gesture drawing. So again, I got my, pa my paper here and uh, I'm gonna do a front, side, back, all on the, same, on the same page here, okay? So we're gonna use a ruler and uh, get the uh, top kind of marked Get that straight a little bit. There we go. Let's see how big I might need to back out the camera. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with a gesture drawing. Kind of see how, how big I want to make this guy. Uh, we do want to take up um, we do want to take up a good amount of space here because we want to have room to draw the muscles. So a lot of times. I'll be uh, doing my gesture and I'm kind of already kind of working my shapes, you know, in there. So uh, I am, for the sake of the video runtime, I am not gonna go slow like I do uh, when I'm in class with students right there, or as slow. I'm gonna go a little slow, but not too slow. Um, you might just have to pause it. Um, I, would, I would expect you to have to pause it here and there to um, be caught up. Okay, so I've got my initial gesture and it kind of starts looking a little bit like shapes drawings here, if you can see. But I'm gonna go ahead and check my proportions. So I'm gonna look for my halfway mark, which once again is about the uh, inside of the, the leg. And it's pretty good. It's actually a little shorter than inside of the leg. A little, a little shorter. The torso to the top of the inside of the leg or the crotch right there is a little bit longer, but that's pretty close. So I'm gonna stick with that. Make any adjustments you need to uh, right now. It's always better to make adjustments earlier than later. And I'm gonna get my, my ruler and I'm just gonna make a line straight down so I can make sure this guy is symmetrical. or mostly symmetrical. Okay, just make any adjustments you need to. And I'm gonna go ahead and give myself, no, not yet, we'll just do our shapes first. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so now that I got my gesture kind of there, I'm just gonna center them up a little bit, a little more here. And now I'm gonna kind of get my shape. So I'm gonna turn my gesture more into shapes drawings. But it's kind of an evolving thing. It's not like it's necessarily, uh, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a transition from one to the other. But, you know, to teach, it's kind of good to uh, think of it that way. But it kind of just morphs into it if I'm going for a more completed drawing. So I'm gonna go for the head here. This guy's got a long neck, but I think a lot of it's the angle he's drawn at. Oh, and I made a mistake. I started from the head. So as I've said before, you should always start with the uh, chest. Let me kind of redo that just in case. Let's practice do the same thing. You hear some scampering, it's because I have cats. All right. So I've got the uh, 
oval kind of egg shape for the chest, the underwear shape here, uh, the neck cylinder and the head on top of that. Okay, and then working my way down here, just like before. So I'm not talking this uh, through this as uh, detailed as before because we've already done this stage. But I'm getting my shapes, I'm doing some joints, some knees, uh, uh, spheres. And as I've said before, there's not exactly one perfect shape, it, you know, or one right exact way. There's a lot of ways that people have approached the body and, and use shapes to make it um, three-dimensional, right? To start drawing three-dimensionally. And that's okay. And I like that there's a variety and sometimes one shape will work better from some angles, uh, you know, better from an angle than other shapes. And these are my generic kind of fallback shapes. Okay, so I got my cylinders for the lower leg coming off there, and I've started to try and shape them a bit like uh, the calf. Okay, and then I'm gonna get some uh, spheres for the heel of the foot. And then the flat part of the front of the foot. All right. So my guy's a little broader than the guy up there. I can slow him down a little bit. I'm just looking at the, the bodies. Okay, go back up to uh, shoulders. Okay, I got arm cylinder. To elbow, it should be towards the bottom of this rib cage right there, but the arm's coming straight down, right? Before you get down to uh, the waist right here. Okay. And the Forearms. I'm noticing my arm length is a little different. So I'm just kind of looking. The wrist should be about at that halfway-ish point right here, right at the bottom of the, uh, uh, the crotch here, at the bottom of this the whole torso, and at the top of the inner part of the leg. That's where that wrist should be. So my, my arm was getting a little long. And he's just got these kind of fists going, so it's gonna do like a little boxy fist shape here. All right, I'm gonna step back and look at it a little bit. And just see if everything looks all right. I'm sure I'm not leaning. A lot of times it's easy to have a lean, a slant in your drawing, kind of like when you write. You have a slant. Here you can see my slant a little bit. And like my arms were kind of going at a slant. See there, I had one longer than the other. So I'm just kind of making little marks there. Okay, but overall, I think I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the top with a line. It's gonna help just make our side and our back view. Oop, that didn't work. Here we go. It'll help make it the same size. And I'm always like wondering whether to do the heel or the bottom of the foot. So I kind of like to go with the heel, figuring that's, you know, coming, you know, more straight down and then the front part of the foot is kind of coming forward. So I can tend to look a little further down, but it just depends on what I want. Okay, I don't think I have too much of a lean here. Just a little bit. I slant. Okay, got those marks. 
Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark out a few things I like to mark out before I get going on the muscles. And that is like the clavicle up here. You can see it on the, uh, the model over there. The chest, which you can see kind of wraps up, right? So it goes down a little bit and then wraps up towards the armpit. Okay, and the rib cage. This guy's got a lot of muscles going there, but you can kind of see where the rib cage is right above all those muscles. All right, and I just will kind of mark out his eye line. Right, so uh, the eyes are right about halfway from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin, about halfway. And this is a bit of an upward angle at this guy. The camera is a little lower. I don't know if you can tell. Um, you can definitely tell on the other views because of the slant of the shoulders. But, um, so it's going to be looking up. So his, his uh, chin looks a little bigger than it would from straight on. But it's, it's all right. This is a good reference for muscles. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I think we're ready to start doing our muscles. So I'm just going to mark out a few of the things in the face. Nose and mouth. Eyes a little bit. And I think I'm good to go. Okay. So, if you have a big eraser, I kind of like to knock it back, but I don't think I brought one from work. So, I'm just going to knock it back a little bit with my little eraser. So I just don't need these lines to be so dark. Okay, so I'm getting my black pencil here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. And I usually start with the face, just because if I mess up the face, I don't want to keep going. So I might as well make sure I get a good face in this guy. Now my pencil sharpener at home is not super sharp. I think I need a new one. It's going to be kind of hard to draw the little details in the face. Oh, I'm off the screen. Sorry about that. Really hard, apparently. sharper pencil. All right. Just remember that our Guy should be about seven and a half to eight heads tall. Seven would be okay as well. Uh, usually the taller you are, the more heads you would be to make it look that way. Okay, so I got a generic little face in this guy. Eyes halfway, nose about halfway from the uh, eyes to the chin and then the mouth a little higher than halfway from the nose 
to the chin. And I'm gonna add some hair, not back here, because that would be like, you know, he'd be going bald. So we'd need to be a little bit in the front. Close to his eyes there. Okay, I think that's good enough to get going here. So a lot of this is going to be paying attention to what's in front and what's in back, okay? That's kind of a, a lot of what make the muscles look right. So behind the neck, I'm sorry, behind the head, we've got the neck, right? It'd look weird if the lines for the neck were in front and the neck muscles kind of come down in front of the traps, which are back here, all right? So those go behind it. So even if you insinuate it with just a little bit of a line, that goes a long way into making the muscles look right. So the traps come from behind, connect to the back of the neck, and come down to the back of the shoulders over there. And then we kind of lose them because of the angle. Oh, we'll lose them anyways. All right, and on the neck, you've got these muscles that come from the side and kind of connect here right at the... Uh, this little part where the clavicles meet and there's a little dip there, right? And there's also like, like where your, I don't even know, esophagus, all that area right there, which kind of comes and sticks out a little bit, but can't, you know, see it too much from this angle. All right, working my way down, you got the clavicles, which come, which meet at this, the sternum, the top of the sternum right here. And go over towards the shoulders. And, and a lot of this I'm doing like disconnected lines for the muscles. Like I'm not trying to, uh, you don't want to connect everything or it'll look like it's sitting on top of the skin or something. I'm going to go down to the chest here and you can see a little bit of a split here. And then where it comes down, over, and then up towards the armpit. Down, over, and up. Okay, and from here, going down, we got the uh, rib cage, but he's got a lot of muscles, so can't even see much of the rib cage here. And let's even place the belly button right around there. I'm just looking at his stomach muscles here, so we've got. Uh, Six pack. And again, I'm not trying to draw a complete like box there. If I do, it'll look um, like it's sitting on top. And the last part of the six pack kind of flattens out a little bit, it looks like there. All right. His uh, lats coming down from the under his arms here, which we're going to get back to. And then you can see the kind of straighten, it straightens out here. And you got this muscle here, I think it's the obliques. Right there. Right above his hip bone. Kind of come down like that. And hip bone sits on the hip bone there, kind of. All right, we've got all these little muscles here that weave in and out of the ribs, which give this kind of winged look, right? And they weave through the ribs here.
All right, we'll go back up to the arms. All right, so we're going to go a little straighter here. And his waist. Then it goes in and curves out to the leg. All right, and you get this long kind of curve here. All right, we're going to give him some... Uh, Whatever he's got going on here is tightish boxers, or whatever. Okay. So he got his crotch there. And then we got his uh, legs now. Okay, so the legs. You've got the growing muscles, right? Kind of curve like this. But then they kind of go behind this muscle, which um, goes from like the top of the knee, kind of goes across like that. It's actually like two muscles that kind of, but they look like they kind of join together. They don't, they don't, They're, they kind of overlap a little bit, but it's just a shape that kind of goes like that, almost like a teardrop shape. I like to think of it like a teardrop. Right, and you get get this little split there, possibly. All right, it goes up towards like there, kind of like the middle part of the leg there connects. And that'll get you a long way into making it look like a leg. All right, besides that, we've got the uh, quads, which are a series of four muscles. But um, as you can see, this guy is, you know, very cut. And you still can't really see much, right, in more of the quad. Maybe you can add another little bit of a line there to show some definition or something, but that's, you know, that's mostly more than you need, right? Um, you can see here, this muscle goes lower than the, the other muscle that cuts up top is a little higher up here. So on the inside, it's a little lower. Okay, so from here, I have this curve and then it kind of continues, even though there's the muscles right here, but this curve continues down and then goes out a little bit to the knee. The knees are kind of tricky, right? Like to draw, but you get this little curve outwards there. And on the outside, you get this little bump kind of outwards as well. I believe that's part of the tibia bone, I think. Sticking out, yeah, tibia bone, I believe. One of those bones, the lower leg. And on the bottom, we've got kneecap. Okay, which a lot of times, uh, there's like, like two kind of like sections. I mean, kneecap's kind of like this um, Shape kind of like that. I don't know how I think about it like that, but there's like a, usually a little like division there. I'm not sure. Yeah, the the major bulk of it or the bone is up top, but then there's like a little like pad of skin I think below. Kind of makes that with the right on. Okay, a little too big on this here. So when you're doing your drawing, it's always about adjusting, right? So no drawing is perfect, right? Nothing's perfect. But as you go, you kind of make adjustments and you fix it and you get better and you make the drawing better. So you can start off not great, but as you make adjustments, right, it can look better and better. All right, so let's see. So, we go here and there's another little part of the bone that protrudes there. Uh, but but okay, the shin, the main shape here. So we're going to curve like this. It's like a little bit of a curve inward or outward, however you want to think about it, on the shin. And then behind it is where you get all the muscle. And you get your calf muscle, right, which is more of a sl slight curve kind of on the outside and then more of a sharper curve on the inside. It kind of bulges out there a little bit more and then cuts in and thins out towards the ankle.
And I mean, there are some thin muscles on the top of the shin here, but mostly the shape of the shin kind of try saying that fast shape of the shin, uh, the shape of the shin just uh, like creates the, the shape. I don't know, the shape of the shin creates the form of the leg. How about that? So I don't repeat shape. Okay, but this goes down into the ankle bone. All right, we're just gonna stick out there. And if you notice on the picture, it's a little lower on the outside, which is always weird to me. And I always have a hard time remembering which one's higher, which one's lower, the outside or the inside. But the outside, it's a little lower. See so a little angle there. And now we got our feet. Okay, so I like to draw like this. Ankle bone to the front of the foot with the heel behind it. I think it creates a nice little foot shape there. Nice little heel to front of the foot on the inside. And you got this little part of the foot that kind of slants down. And then we got our toes. So I'm gonna roughen the toes here. We've got obviously the biggest one on the inside. And now we got our little toes kind of slanting downwards. Something like that. It's sharpened. Let's see what we got here. Pencils, there we go. Oh, wrong color. All right, let's try and do that on the other side here. Slanting downward toes, little ones. All right, little toenail for him. And I think that is good enough. Let's get back up to the arms. All right, we're almost done with this front view. Okay, so I'm gonna go around my shoulders here, which you have these deltoid muscles that wrap around and meet in the middle. So it creates this round shape, it meets in the middle of the arm. So it kind of goes like here. And right where that armpit kind of goes right under there, or the, I'm sorry, the, uh, chest muscle, pectoralis muscle goes right under. These muscles all kind of go around. And from the inside, it's not very even. From the, that didn't help. From the inside, we've got the bicep at this angle, right? Which kind of comes from the inside. meets here at the elbow. This guy's little vein coming through, coming along. And behind that, you got the tricep from this angle. So the tricep is gonna be a bump as well, but it's gonna be higher and then come in sooner. And it comes from behind the deltoid shoulder muscles. So behind and in, behind and in. All right, so this is longer, this is higher. And from the middle of the arm, we've got our, um, I don't know the exact name of these muscles, there's so many of them. Um, I know they're brachials, I know a lot of them are called brachials, but this, you have this bigger one, whatever muscle this is called, which kind of connects a little above the elbow, kind of, right? Or right around the elbow and comes along the arm here. And that's the main one you'll see in the forearm, which kind of defines that shape. And you've got all these little brachials that come behind it. These little muscles that muscle that comes from the outside, right about the elbow is what you want to make sure you get. And on the inside, we got a little, little bump here. 
believe created by, oh, I don't know the name of which bone it is. Olna? The Olna? I believe, I don't know. Forum. Or where your forearm connects to your, uh, the upper arm here, the bones. Um, no, oh, blanking on the names. Humerus? Is it the humerus? I can't remember. All right, a little bump, and then you got the forearm on the inside. Which will go and taper in towards the wrist. All right, we got this handed at a uh, side angle here. So, let's see. I'll just draw the hand here in a fist, Put the thumb in the front. There's one thumb I like and one I don't like. This is the one I don't like. I like it a little better now. Okay, and then the rest of the fingers here. So they're kind of curled up, so you get this kind of little straight part of the palm there, and then the fingers all fold in, right? So you got the, the obviously the one you see the most is the uh, one on top. And then you can see a little bit because we're looking at this up angle of the other fingers below it, but not much because they, they get smaller. So you can really only see the next one so much. All right, and let me take a zoom out here, make sure I didn't miss anything. Slender, make his uh, ankles a little more slender. I think I do him a little chunky. And pretty happy with it. There we go. All right. Got all the ma major muscles, at least. Not a complete anatomy lesson by any means, but just enough to get by, right? With drawing. Okay, so here's a little, um, little like kind of bump there. Kind of connects up there. Um, it's that bone. That's got to be the radius, ra radial, sorry, radial bone. Forgive me if I say any of the names wrong. If you're taking anatomy class, this is mostly my memory from anatomy in high school and the names of stuff, which is going back a ways. My shoulder's bugging me, but we're gonna have to live with it because we're about done. Okay, so there is our front view and I'm gonna stop the video here. So it loads a little easier. And then we'll do the side view and the back view. And there it is.